good afternoon guys this is sir griggs today i'm going to help you out to write a good project and uh, before uh, you uh, uh, see this video i just want you to make sure that you like it you subscribe to the channel so that i'll be motivated to give you more videos guys i just want you to pass so since you all know that the simsec has introduced the hbc syllabus and you are also required to submit uh, two projects uh, for each subject and uh, here I'm going to help you out to write a good project so that you can have enough marks so that you can pass guys uh, the first stage guys is on title page you must make sure that you have your title page uh, when writing a project so on title page you must indicate the project title your name the center number and your candidate number this is for the title page and you go to the table of content on the table of content you must list uh, several headings and page numbers so that it will be easy for the person who's going to mark your project to be able to uh, mark it well and be able to give you the marks for all and uh, make sure that uh, their work is presentable so the most important stages now is the stage number one up to six so our project consists of stage number one up to six which are the most essential and here you'll be awarded marks for each stage so make sure that you write the work that you be able to uh, suit for every marks. So stage number one is problem identification. Guys, I just want you to understand what actually happens on problem identification. On problem identification, we have four stages on problem identification. The first stage is to describe problem, which you state problem description or statement. You describe your problem uh, and also you give us the materials that you're going to use you give us how you're going to reduce the problem so this is what you must write on stage number one stage number one first you give us the problem description you give us the statement of intent where you are going to write a statement of what you're going to do to reduce the problem you must give us the design specifications of what your design is going to look like or what your solution is going to look like then last you give us the materials these are the four stages that are in the problem identification make sure that you write all the four sub stages in the problem identification now we go to stage number two on stage number two guys this is the investigation of related ideas you must go back into the internet find the ideas or solutions that was used in the past to reduce the problem on stage number one you've described the problem right on stage number two now you must investigate on the solutions that were used in the past to reduce the problem and you list them you must give us at least four solutions and when you state each and every four solution you must analyze each solution give the strength give the weaknesses of that solution and also give the places where the solution was used and also if in the debt when the solution was implemented this was what you must write on stage number two now stage number three generation of ideas on generation ideas now you're going to go back to stage number two you scan stage number two you analyze stage number two you create your own ideas from stage number two so you modify those ideas that are in stage number two you understand and create your own ideas to solve the same problem now we go to stage number four development of selected solution now you select the best solution on stage number three you select your best word solution so when you select your best solution you analyze that best solution you further analyze it you give us the strength you give us the weaknesses you see of and the proof and the proof of that solution is required even on stage number two three guys make sure that you give us pictures you give us uh, documents that clearly indicate that the problem exists now on stage number five you present the results now you're going to present the results in form of tables in form of presentation you do whatever way you want to present the results the results of what of your selected solution uh, how you implemented the idea did the idea go well did the idea able to reduce the problem you present your work you present on results if it is something that you have designed or a prototype or anything you must give us the diagram and be able to present uh, that prototype you have created now stage number six evaluation and recommendation on this stage guys i just want you don't forget to click on the like and don't forget to follow 
so on evaluation and recommendation guys you're going to uh, evaluate or to give recommendation you're also going to give us the challenges that you faced while doing the project and how you overcame it guys for more information i just want you to like and make sure that you follow me thank you so much this is sacred